Hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. Appreciate it if you hit subscribe and like the video. So what do we got going on? I'll tell you what we got going on. I bought another car halfway across the country that I'm driving back here to Phoenix. Every now and then, usually once or twice a year, I find something I want. I don't want to ship it. I decide I'm going to fly out and drive it back. Well, this time, we're heading to Flint, Michigan. And what did I buy? Oh, this one's a good one. I bought a 1981 Plymouth Reliant K car. Yes, sir, a Reliant K car. Two-door sedan, no options, a complete base model stripper. And it's black with a cashmere interior. But here's why I bought it. It's got 55,000 original miles on it. One owner, garage from new, and a factory four-speed. That's right, a factory four-speed. You don't find sticks in these cars too often. This car is all original paint, all original interior. Beautiful looking car. I've gotten plenty of pictures and videos on it. I pulled the trigger and decided to buy it. So I'm flying out to Flint, Michigan in the morning, meeting the seller, gentleman named Eric. Super cool car. Super cool guy. The car's already been on a long trip this year. Back in February, it ran the uh, Southern Classic, which is a recreation of the run from Smoking to Bandit. It's Atlanta, Georgia to Texarkana, Texas and back. This car did it in 21 hours and 52 seconds. I'm sorry, 21 hours and 52 minutes. So the car is a proven uh, road cruiser. And it's been serviced. It's got new tires on it. I'm getting in it and I'm driving it 2,300 miles back to Phoenix going to Nashville, Tennessee first, go look at some other cars that I'm trying to buy, and then get on the road after a day or so and head back to uh, Phoenix, right here where I'm at right now. So follow along, hope you enjoy the video, and uh, let's have a good time on the road. Again, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, more videos like this are coming, and uh, we're going to have a good time. Oh. I forgot one thing. We're covering the whole journey for Hemmings Motor News. They're going to cover a, a one or two part series on the road trip cross country. So that's kind of cool. So with that being said, next time you see me, I'll be in Flint, Michigan, picking up the car, meeting the gentleman at the airport. We'll see you there. Well, here we go first video and initial driving impression but on the road about three three and a half hours knocked down about 160 170 miles somewhere around there car does exactly what it's supposed to do stops steers turns runs good no issues and it's only a 56,000 mile car so let's keep that in mind these were actually good cars if you maintained them. You just had to stay on top of the maintenance like everything else. They were considered disposable. 150,000 miles wasn't out of the question for most of these cars, but usually about 100,000 they were done and you got rid of them. Junked them, scrapped them, whatever the case may be. Now, diehard Mopar guys really have no love for the K car. It's just kind of the way it is. But you got to keep in mind one thing. This is the car that saved Chrysler Corporation. 79, 80, right around there. Chrysler got a huge loan from the federal government as a bailout. And 
they had this car in development, got it to market in 81, and the K-Car platform proved to be a good winning combination. Then followed in 83 by the minivan on the same platform. They sold thousands of these things. As ugly and as quirky as they are, they saved the company. Now, in a weird twist of fate, without this car, Chrysler wouldn't be here today. Mopar wouldn't be here today. Hellcats, Scat Packs, Challengers and Chargers, they kind of owe their legacy to this car because this is the car and the platform, the Dodge Aries K and the Plymouth Reliant K that saved Chrysler Corporation with Lee Iacocca. The car itself, let me tell you something, no issues. Runs, drives, does what it's supposed to do. It's a great little car. This car ran the Southern Classic back in January, which was the uh, run from Smokey and a Bandit from Atlanta, Georgia to Texarkana, Texas and back. And this car did it in 21 hours and 52 minutes. The previous owner that I got the car from did that rally with his wife uh, back in the beginning of the year. So it's a proven car on the road. You know, we knocked out 150 miles. I got another 2,300 to go, and we'll continue on. Well, here we are, second full day of driving. First day was Flint, Michigan to Nashville, Tennessee. That was mostly, that was all at night, maybe about an hour or two of daylight when I left. That was about 600 miles. No issues, no problems. Got down to Nashville. Spent the night. Woke up the next day. Had a little issue. A little leak in the heater core. Passenger side floor mat was wet. So we know what that's all about. So I had two options. Throw a little uh, stop leak in it. See if it cured. Or disconnect the heater core and loop it. So I did two things. I bought a thing, a stop leak. I said, I'm going to go that route first. But I also bought a union, a uh, half-inch union connector and a couple of clamps where if it does give me some trouble and the stop leak doesn't work, I'm going to loop the thing. So I got that as a backup. I've been on the road a couple hours. I'm on the west side of Tennessee. Cruising down I-40, should make it to Arkansas here in probably about an hour or so. Uh, passenger side floor mat, bone dry. The old bars leak, stop leak, sealant. It's always worked good for me. I've seen it fill some pretty good leaks. This wasn't leaking that bad. It was just a very, very light drip. So I probably, uh, you know, small pinhole, whatever. I'm sure it's the original heater core. It's a 1981 Plymouth Reliant K with 56,000 miles on it. So more than likely it's the original heater core. And they're not really that much of a bitch to change. So when I get back to Phoenix and go back to my shop, I'll, uh, I'll pull it out and fix it. Anyway, car's running good. Uses no oil. Get about 25 miles to the gallon. Everything works on it. It's a real basic car. Manual steering, manual brakes, no air conditioning. Four-speed manual transmission. It does have an AM FM radio, which is surprising. Manual windows, no power locks. I mean, she's a stripper of a stripper. Other than having an AM radio and vinyl seats, those would be your base, you know, your base uh, equipment. The car's got cloth seats and an AM FM radio. So, I hope you're following along the K-Car road trip. We're having a good time. We'll come back and give you another update a little bit later. And uh, we're also doing some coverage for uh, Hemmings Motor News. And they're going to they're gonna pick this up and they're going to pull the story out on us. I'm feeding them information as well, which is really kind of cool. So, enjoy the ride. Hope everyone's having a good day. 
And anybody that's down in Florida that happens to see this, I know there's a hurricane coming through around the Tampa area through the Gulf. Stay safe. My brother lives out in that area. So he's keeping an eye on it, and I'm checking in with him to see what's happening. So uh, hope everything's all good for you guys down there. The rest of the country, south all the way to Phoenix, is crystal clear. Blue skies the whole way. I'll be back. Happy boat. always something. Here's the hose that goes from the uh, radiator back to the reservoir. Both ends are split. So it was pushing antifreeze out. Got a new piece of hose thanks to O'Reilly's and we'll be back on the road.
cheesesteak challenge. They have its own table, all set up. And the place is kind of cool. It's got a big balcony around the top. There's tables up there you can eat at. So you, we were right above him, so we were able to look right down and watch the whole thing. I'll tell you, man, he came close. He came damn close, but didn't finish it. But anyway, check out the big Texan. It's pretty cool. museum at Russell's truck stop the place has got so much stuff you got to walk around it about three or four times to see everything cars toys automobilia Very cool stuff. Chevy Impala, 1955 Corvette, 59 Corvette, 56 Bel Air Convertible, 53 Bel Air Coupe, 56 Mercury Montclair, 54 Pontiac Star Chief Convertible, a couple of cool vintage bikes. Yamaha, some Cushmans, got some neat trucks over here, 
The display changes from time to time. I've been here about a half a dozen times. Every inch of this place is covered. I was here about five, six years ago, and there was a 55 Chevy here, parked somewhere over here. I actually owned that car one time. I sold it at Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale about nine years ago. And then somehow it ended up in his collection, ended up here. So I don't know if he was one that bought it at Barrett Jackson, but uh, it did end up in the museum. And I walked in, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was my old car. So that was kind of cool. But hope you're enjoying what you see. I'm getting back on the road and we'll be back later. Have a good one. Well, that's it. We're back in Phoenix. Here's a couple of good money shots of the car. Beautiful original paint, straight as an arrow. No door dings, no paint work. All original interior in the car. It really ran well on the trip. It ran in the Southern Classic, as I explained a little bit earlier in the video. Still has the original Chrysler K-Car sticker in the window. Dead straight down both sides of the car, as you can see. Not even a door ding in it. That nice of a car. Completed the Southern Classic in 21 hours and 52 minutes. So that was kind of cool. So the car's got a proven track record on the road. Original fender tag still in place. Yes, we visited the Cadillac Ranch. Original cashmere cloth interior. Back seat as well. Doesn't look like anybody's ever sat in it. Four speed on the floor makes this a rare bird. And of course it has a little tree air freshener in it. Original data sticker in the door jam. Car was built 11 of 1980. Underside is clean and rust free. Never touched, never patched up. Has had a little exhaust mod to it with a split exhaust. Original title from the original owner, front and back. Car was purchased new, 1125 of 1980. K car emblems everywhere on this car. They were proud of it when it was new. There's the four speed in its own little pod console from the factory. One year only hood ornament on this car. They only used it in 1981. Kind of unique. It's a Chrysler Pentastar with a Plymouth rocket in the middle. Clean Carfax and auto check on it showing two owners. And everything checks out 100%. So, that was the end. The car performed flawlessly. I had a great time on the road. Car is now available for sale. Feel free to contact me or go to our website at rpmotorcars.com with any questions or information needed. And hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward for the next one. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button. And thanks for watching.